This is Jared from the Imploded Cacti Squad, and today I'm gonna be uh, just telling you guys a little story. Uh, well, I play Battlefront. Sorry if that was like a delayed intro there, but uh, I'm just gonna be telling a little story about um, something that happened to me uh, about 18 months ago or so, and uh, it, it was honestly, it was crazy. You guys are just gonna have to hear this for yourself, but uh, there was this guy. And uh, let's just call him George. All right, let's just call him George. And he worked for a government agency, a home, a Department of uh, Homeland Security. And what George did was he came out to our house after a uh, flood that happened uh, to my home and all actually all over my whole area, southeastern Michigan. Um, yeah, so he just came out and he would give us money if there was like significant enough damage to our uh, basement and uh, so yeah he came out while I was at school and then uh, he was actually when I got home from school he had actually just gotten here and he was talking to my mom uh, while they were in the basement and I was just sitting upstairs in my living room right just doing my homework so this guy comes upstairs with my mom they're just talking about the basement everything seems normal and good but then it comes to the time where, I'm, where uh, they start going over like the financial aspect of it all. Uh, and he's talking about money and stuff. But then he starts to stray away a little. I mean, I don't remember this in full clarity. Uh, mainly just because this guy, they were he was here for a long time. But, uh, yeah. I don't remember this part in full, cl in full clarity. But he began talking about progressively weirder and weirder topics uh, with my mom. And he, really, he was really straying away from uh, being professional, honestly. And so George, he, he brought up a topic. He started talking about uh, how he used to live in the Virgin Islands and how uh, his house got destroyed by a uh, hurricane that was created by the government because apparently the government can control the weather, uh, according to this guy, according to George. And, uh, yeah, so he said that, and that was weird, whatever, you know. And then he brought up the, uh, con the conspiracy that uh, is actually probably familiar with you guys, or you guys might be familiar with it. The conspiracy that, uh, the planes you see in the sky with their, like, exhaust, that the exhaust actually is controlling the population, uh, and yeah, so he brought that up, and other, it was weird, but, you know, not too weird well actually it was kind of too weird because he really didn't need to be talking about that at all he could have just gotten got out of here you know because he was on his job he wasn't doing his job though and uh so yeah he started talking about that and then he started talking about some shit like how uh the illuminati got started he said he he read this whole book about it this guy he was writing notes to my mom like notes down on a piece of note paper of stuff she needed to look up in order not to be taken over by the Illuminati. And he, and he was talking about how the Illuminati was actually made up of uh, lizard people. Um, so yeah, I guess that was pretty strange. And then he talked about how uh, all the rich people and all like the famous people around the world were all about to go into hiding. And that he suggested we get out of our, ho our homes and go somewhere safe in the middle of nowhere because apparently the population of the world is going to overthrow the government and uh he said everything's going to go chaotic for a while until um no, no, no. until we get like a new like authority or whatever to take place and uh yeah he was just saying a bunch of weird shit like that and this guy literally was here talking about different topics like that for like over an hour and mind you I want you guys to remember this guy works for the government and he's talking about all this shit that the government supposedly does according to George and uh yeah it was just really strange and then another really weird thing that he said was he mentioned uh, he was talking about how people always say they're gonna do stuff in like certain like uh like bad situations but they don't always actually do what they say they would do. But the example he used for that was beyond strange. 
what the guy said. This was an ex example. He asked my mom. He said, what would you do if someone killed your son? And she was like, well, obviously, like, I would get mad. I'd probably, like, attack the guy or whatever. And then uh, he was like, okay, but imagine this. You're in a situation. You come into your house and see your, ma your uh, husband and your son hanging upside down from the ceiling being skinned alive. What do you do? And she said she would be, like, really mad to, like, attack the guy like she said before. And he was like, no, you wouldn't. You would probably just freak out, and you would end up getting caught and being skinned alive, too. Now, what the fuck was that? Why would a guy say that? You know what I mean? Like, that's just... This guy came here to help us with the uh, damages or whatever for a ba from our basement. And then he comes in here and starts talking about, like, this shit. He just mentioned a bunch of different uh, conspiracies. And then he talks about killing us by skinning us alive. And, um, yeah. So that's the story I just wanted to tell you guys about this guy. But uh, I don't want you guys to actually get mad at uh, FEMA for sending that guy out there. Like, it's not their fault. Um, because believe it or not, about a week later, my mom ran into this guy again. Just by chance, right? Because, obviously, FEMA was sticking around for, for, because of the flood that had just happened. And uh, she runs into this guy again. And the guy had actually said that he got fired. Uh, from his job at FEMA and it's not our fault we didn't tell on him about all that crazy shit he said otherwise he probably would have already been fired that same day but uh yeah he was fired within a week and um he had also said that uh the plans to overthrow the government were taking longer than uh, usual so that's what he said and he said he still thought we should get out of there Get out of, like, this area. Oh, yeah, and I ended up looking up the, uh, websites he wanted me to look up. Well, not me, but I'm, the notes that he wrote. They were almost as fucked up as he is, but not even quite. So I think he's honestly, I think he was honestly, like, psychotic. I know there's people who, like, who, like, believe in conspiracies and stuff, but why did this guy have to say all this crazy shit to us while he's on his job, you know? Alright, anyway, I apologize for the bad gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh... Comment, like, and subscribe. This has been Jared from the Political Cacti Squad. See ya.